Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I am so glad that you are here today. I will be announcing the winner of the 500 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for that. I won't make you wait too long. I am so happy that you are here. I'm going to be cleaning my house a little bit while my kids are sleeping and that is just the only way that I have found that I can actually clean is just wait till I have at least one of the three of my kids down. I have a six week old right now and life is just a little bit crazy. So I started in my son's room so that I could actually put him down for a nap while I cleaned up the bathroom and the living room and the kitchen. And my newborn was asleep in my room so I didn't actually get to that room but it is the easiest for me to go ahead and just clean up at night when he is going down for the night. And so I find that cleaning up the rest of the house during the day is just easiest at the moment. That is kind of my daily routine, is cleaning up what I can in the rest of the house. So I hope that you enjoy this and I will get to the subscriber and giveaway announcement in just a minute. And while you're waiting on that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy cleaning motivation and mom life in general, I will be sharing some baby hacks and newborn things coming up soon. So I know that I enjoy a good speed clean and just watching everything get done really fast so I thought that would be the style of today's video and obviously I am not thoroughly deep cleaning everything but I am getting everything cleaned up kind of like if I would for a company or something like that but that's kind of how my day goes at the moment. I hit the points that need it the most and if I can get any of the deep cleaning or anything like that done too I go ahead and do that. But right now I am just functioning with clean everything that I possibly can while my kids are asleep and worry about the rest later. So I know that a few of you are watching this just to find out who has won the giveaway and I will be actually posting that in the comments so as not to fill up too much of the video time with that. But I can say that I am super excited and very grateful to all of you guys for subscribing and being here and being so encouraging and I'm hoping that this is encouraging some of you guys a little bit and giving back to you. So thank you all so much for being here. Even though I couldn't obviously actually give back to each and every one of you, I am so grateful for you and I hope that these videos are in a way giving back to you. I know that I've mentioned this before, but I just wanted to say whenever I am in a really rush or a really big hurry, I just like to use my vacuum on my floors instead of my broom. I know that it may not be as thorough, but I think it's thorough in a different kind of way and then it gets in all the nooks and crannies of the actual floor, even if it doesn't get 
uh, under everything necessarily and all that. It definitely gets the floor that it does touch a little more thorough than a broom, I feel like, and it doesn't stir it up into the air and create more of a mess for later. So now that that part of my house is done, my kids room, the bathroom, and the living room, I am going to be moving on to the kitchen, tidying up, wiping down, and tackling the mountain of dishes that need to get done. I was on the phone to my sister the other day and I told her my pots and pans are on a need to use wash basis and I don't like to be there, but that's kind of where I was on this day. So I went ahead and got them all tackled all at the same time and my mixing bowls were at that point too. So I went ahead and got them all done and it felt great just to have everything cleaned up, wiped down. I have some stuff there that I'm actually going to be using soon. So I kind of left that piled up just so I had it all in one place, but everything else got cleaned and tidied and just kind of in a more usable place rather than being all over the place and dirty. I wanted to let you guys know that I do have different types of content coming out soon. More mom, uh, mom life motivation, I guess, coming out soon, but don't hit the unsubscribe button because I will keep doing cleaning motivation videos. So if that's what you're here for, keep on, on the lookout and I will be posting more of those as well as the other, the mom life style videos. So don't unsubscribe just cause you see a different type of video. I am definitely going to keep up with both because both happen all the time in my house. And I'm so lucky to be yours. I don't know about you guys, but it's so easy to procrastinate that last little bit of work that needs done, kind of like washing out the sink after the dishes. It seems like going the extra mile sometimes is too far, but it feels so great when everything actually is done at once and nothing else is left for the next time and it doesn't pile up in that way. So sometimes going the extra mile can mean a few more minutes spent, but if you have them, it, I encourage you to go ahead and spend those few more minutes that way it just all gets done all at once and doesn't pile up for the next time and get even harder to clean. And I can say that because I've been there and been doing that for the last six weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got lots of encouragement and cleaning motivation from it. Congratulations to the winner. I am so excited about that and I will see you guys in the next video.